An update on the overnight curfews in South Florida. There is no longer a curfew in Broward County. The temporary restriction ended last night. In Miami-Dade, a midnight to 6 a.m. curfew does remain in place. Other rules intended to slow the spread of COVID are still around. And as CBS 4's Carly Barnett explains, there was some strict enforcement over the weekend. Plenty of people out and about on Ocean Drive in Miami Beach Monday night. But some local businesses are especially grateful for the foot traffic. Cafe Milano, the Palace, and the Clevelander all had to shut down for 24 hours over the weekend. The reason? Music was too loud. Over the last week, we have uh, shut down 20 businesses temporarily, but we've shut them down for at least a day um, for violating various elements of the emergency order, the curfew, ambient noise. According to new normal guidelines here in Miami Beach, music can only be played at so-called ambient levels. In other words, background noise. That's to prevent shouting or yelling to lessen the germ spread. And it's monitored by the city's code enforcement officers. I wish somebody could tell me what really is ambient music because one person may think it's this and one that. The Palace says they've been doing their shows this way for weeks, and the shutdown was a shock. If it continues on like this, more of us are going to go to business. We really feel that the city is not a partner with us anymore. We just feel that they are just there to lay down the law. Jessica Franco's vice president of operations for the Clevelander says she feels like they were unfairly targeted due to their well-known name. We had about 300 people in our venue, which is even less than 50 percent of capacity. Um, and they still wanted to shut us down. She says they lost about $100,000 in those 24 hours. Mayor Gelber says they don't want to close businesses, but they also say they will continue to strictly enforce the guidelines. Many of these are, you know, businesses that have invested in our community. We like them. We still have to make it clear that uh, they got to abide by these rules or we're going to close them down. Franco says she reached out to the city weeks ago asking for further clarification on the music volume. She says she never heard back. Meanwhile, Mayor Gelber says the warning period has been over for a long time now and they have essentially a zero tolerance policy. In Miami Beach, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.